Hey all, Binks here, and today we're schmoovin'. Today's deck is a control style movement deck that looks to move our opponent's cards into a disadvantageous position while moving our cards into an advantageous position. Let's go over some of the key cards. Uh, the main one I really want to highlight is Polaris, a three energy five power. On reveal, move an opposing one or two cost card to this location. Super underrated right now. It's overstated at three energy five power and also can just really wreck your opponent's game plan. It's really good against Angelo or just moving one drops into bad spots. Uh, we use Arrow in this deck, uh, which is one of the absolute powerhouse cards in the game right now. A great finisher at five energy eight power. And we can just move whatever our opponent does to uh, a location that we want them to. So we can use this on turn six or turn five to kind of disrupt our opponent. Uh, we do utilize Heimdall in this deck. It's kind of a last turn juke. Six energy eight power, move all of your other cards at one location to the left. So we can slam this down on six and slide all of our cards over to the left, really mess with our opponent. We don't have too many cards that really signal that we're going to run Heimdall, which really makes it uh, best, in my opinion. Other than that, we just have really, really solid cards. We have Angela in our two drop slot. We have the Killmonger Nova combo. So Killmonger to kill off our opponent's one drops and to hit our Nova towards the end of the game. Uh, Craven is going to get buffs whenever cards move around, uh, either from our opponent's side or from our side. Uh, Miles Morales, a card that I really don't use too terribly much, works great in this deck. Turns into a one energy five power if a card moved last turn, so super, super ahead of the curve. Uh, we did do this deck during the Bifrost hot location, so definitely got a lot of advantages there, but I think that you can make a version of this deck work in just about any meta. It's really interesting to be able to move your opponent's cards around. You can snap early if you're going to do a movement that really kind of crushes your opponent's game plan. And I think that it has that nice surprise factor, which helps you win those big AQ games. As always, if you're enjoying this content, make sure to hit the like button. It really helps me out. If you're not subscribed, a bunch of you aren't. Make sure to hit that subscribe button for awesome daily Marvel Snap content. And catch me live at twitch.tv slash binks underscore plays. Enjoy. Uh, we can think about doing Polaris. Polaris or Vulture. What do we want to get down this turn? It, it's kind of sucks because we kind of wanted Angelo. We don't want our opponent to have extra extra power. We'll just we'll just Polaris left. I I actually I don't know how this interaction works. So if Polaris, if if they have Ant Man and Colossus here. I do wonder if Polaris will check and either try Colossus or a man. If it tries Colossus, it'll it'll whiff. I actually don't exactly know. Yeah, Da Binksy. Except with Da, D-A, D-A. Uh, we'll go Vulture left. And then we'll go Angela Scorpion middle. And then we'll try and do Arrow Heimdall to win. So it just doesn't move them. So it'll try and move him, but but not work. Makes sense. Uh, I changed my mind. Change my mind. I want to Craven. Craven's way too much power. Well, Scorpion right, because they won't have anything right. Maybe uh, Angela right? Scorpion is feeling like the wink leak in this deck. Maybe it is something that I that I move for something else. I want Angela. I need a Craven because it's going to get. Uh, like 10 power. It's ridiculous. I think I Angela right. I think I Angela right, and then I try and like arrow right, Heimdall right, do do some crazy stuff. Opponent skipped. It's crazy to me. Yeah, this Kraven's gonna get to 10 power. It's nuts. Big big Kraven. And then if opponent tries to like uh, do any do any kind of like shenanigans, so it's really cool. Opponent could do Professor X left, right? But if they try and Professor X left and I arrow left, then we're feeling we're feeling golden. We're gonna snap here even. Feeling really really good. Doctor Strange instead of Scorpion. I don't want to push too hard into the move thing. I want another two drop. I like having I like having four two drops. Uh, this is Professor X for sure, right? You fucking love to see it, dude. You love to see. You love to see just absolutely calling out our opponent. Um, yeah, GG's. <laughs> we don't Craven on New York because New York is going to end up somewhere else because of Starlight Citadel. I think we Craven middle. And then we Vulture. 
Wait, we're actually not gonna know where, uh... We're actually not gonna know where Starlight Citadel is until the very end. Ripperino. Uh, then we Vulture... Yeah, we can Vulture same spot. So we'll just cloak somewhere else, and then we'll get the Craven Vulture everything buff somewhere. Opponents playing Sentinel, they're a KM Best Enjoyer. Opponents a KM Best Enjoyer. Look out, KM Best Enjoyer. Keep, keep your eyes out. Uh, we will cloak. Okay. We want to not hit New York. We don't hit New York, so we get another chance we cloak there. And we can Nova right. Doesn't matter too much where we Nova. They already said it will be before the season. Yeah, but they didn't say exactly though, you know? Could be any time. Could be tomorrow. Probably not though. Why no human torch? Let you, let you think about that for like three seconds. Oh shit, I forgot how, that's how that works. Wow. Uh, ch -ch -ch. Go a bing, a bang. Uh, and then we'll also... I'll leave space there. Hmm. Yeah, let's just get all their cards over there. Who cares? Just move all their cards over to the right. It's good for us. That happens. Problem here, chat, is that I don't know if we're going to make this work. Now, what we could do is go like a little Polaris and this. We're adding eight power left. That seems very hard for us to win. Uh, Heimdalling into Baxter building is pretty sick. We could also potentially Heimdall there and leave eight power, but I don't know how much that'll really matter. I think winning a second lane is going to be our biggest, biggest issue right now. This only gets us ahead too. There's a very good chance that this is just a retreat. Actually, wait, wait, here's the thing. If we Heimdall left, we get to 12, but it's actually 15 because we're going to win middle. Almost certainly, pr pretty much certainly. So we'll get to 15, they'll go to 8. That's still really bad. Eh, whatever. Eh, whatever. Meh. It's not good. Don't don't get me wrong, chat. It's not good. But you never know. Probably just play a couple of good cards left and we lose. But this is what we call a content go. I would probably retreat here most of the time. These two cards. Ooh, Maximus. That might be their biggest card that they play. Sentinel. What is this one? What is this one? Scorpion, not enough. Not enough, Chet. Let's go. Heimdall, give me all my cards over to the middle. All the homies hanging out. Craven getting out of control. Vulture getting out of control. Look at how big this guy is. Look at how big my cards are. Jeez. Sometimes in life, you will not hit goals, right? You won't hit exactly what you want to do and you'll feel bad about it and you'll feel sad. But it's okay. Because every step in life is very important. Every time you fail, you can look at that failure and learn from it and try and get a little bit better. And you can try and just like have some perspective on it and get a life experience out of it. Or you can get very depressed. So I look at the when I got 99. I will eventually hit infinite. It might not be this season. It might not be next season. But one of these seasons will hit infinite. It's going to be awesome. Shuri's Lab. I think we Lizard there, I think we Polaris there. I think we do a lot of things there. Dropping knowledge? Yeah, I'm trying. Uh, do we craft a massive variety of decks? I do I do just play a bunch of crazy decks. That is true. Like, I, I think if I played the same deck over a season, I could, I could hit infinite. But I much more enjoy just playing a different deck every single day. Makes you feel better to never hit infinite when a player like you hasn't. Appreciate that. Ooh, Iron Fisted the Lizard out. And got the Shuri's Lab buff. Very spooky. Hopefully we pull that Iron Fist back in. If we don't pull the Iron Fist in, we pull the Lizard back in. It's iffy, but make it work. 
try and get as many cards in the layer as we possibly can. Yeah, getting the Iron Fist there is good. We'll just play the cloak there. We just need as much as many stats as we can get. We're gonna try and play all of our cards into Shuri's lab. Where are you from? You seem American, but when you're always streaming when I wake up in England. Yeah, I just streamed super late at night. I'm uh, from the right smack tab in America. We'll just keep playing every card on Shuri's Lab. I feel like playing every single card on Shuri's Lab is just a good strat. Murka. Trying to infinite, infinite the season, saying credit level 55, 550, started at level 10, 992, all thanks to my first pool three Wong. Yeah, Wong is a good pool three pool. Won't snap, but I'm, I'm still vibing, dude. pulled both these cards here and we're playing arrow here his opponent's not going to get the shuri's lab buff Let's see yeah opponent's not getting the shuri's lab buff so opponent still has to play cards here to to win it mm -hmm -hmm. it can't play middle it's fine honestly uh, 28 power, so they need to play... He's only like big card. I know left seems fine, right? You just timed all right. They're only getting 16 power left. There's no way they beat 16 power left. Uh, they could play... I don't know, we have 20, 28? I don't think they're expecting Heimdall. This is the cool thing about this deck, is that most people don't really expect Heimdall. Maybe we work out like a Nova Killmonger Spider-Man play. Is this a little bit better? It'd be Nova Spider-Man Killmonger, right? It'd be Nova Spider-Man Killmonger. Let's get 10 left. 10 left, 17 middle. And 31. Yeah, it's fine. I guess they could uh, they could be doing arrow themselves, but I think we still beat arrow. Magento. This is a one to one. Nice! Very close, but we take those. Victory. Yeah, should have thought about Magneto a little bit more, but we take the Magneto. Make sure to subscribe. Watch that one too.